Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about the very best 10GBE NIC or network interface cards for your NAS in 2018. Okay, so as I've said for about a billion times on this channel and NAS compares, 10GBE has really landed in 2018. There have been so many examples of 10 gigabit networks being integrated into existing NAS and network systems at a much more affordable price than they've been for the last decade. Now you can upgrade your entire network to 10GBE for hundreds of pounds. And most of the cards that we're talking about today are range around about 100 quid. So if you've got a NAS that's got a PCIe slot available or you want to up upgrade different parts of your network, chances are one of the three cards that we're going to talk about today, the top three um, network interface upgrade cards that give you 10 GBE, are going to be the ones that you're looking at. Now, just to let you know, of the three cards we're talking about today, all three of them are one port 10 GBE upgrade cards, so no two port or link aggregation. We're keeping it nice and simple. Two, they all use 10G base T, uh, which is the copper based version of 10GBE that's also backwards compatible with RJ45, that standard LAN connection that we all use. And it lets you integrate and upgrade your entire network environment far more gradually. Next, all of them are available to buy right now. We're not talking about any products that are coming soon or no more available to buy. All of these can be purchased right now from span.com or any other retailer out there as of right now. All of them are PCI 2 and 3 compatible as well as times 4, times 8, times 16 compatible. So pretty much all of modern PCIe slots will adapt and accept all three of the cards we're talking about today. All of them use the same controller, the Aquantia AQ107. It's a controller chip that's on board. All three of these, you can see a little heat sink on all three cards. And all of them make that chip, make sure there's loads of throughput there and takes care of the read and writes and maintains heat levels because the CPU on a 10G card as well as 10GB switches can get very hot because there's a lot of file handling and those data packets are moving 10 times faster. And lastly, all of them are backwards compatible with 1GBE, 2.5GBE, 5GBE, and of course, all are compatible with 10GBE networks. So, all three of these cards, we're talking about three cards today, one from QNAP, one from Synology, and one from Buffalo. We have looked at loads of 10GB cards this year to name a few of the ones that didn't quite make the cut. We've got the Sonnet Solo card, Great little 10 GB upgrade card, but you know more expensive than one would anticipate, and only one year's warranty. Next, the Akitio card, couple of years warranty, great little packaging, and compatible with a multiple uh, multiple systems, but just a lot more expensive than any other 10 GB card I've seen this year outside of Intel. Which leads me to these three cards. Now, in third place, and again, I was a little surprised when I said this, but after balancing all the numbers and the pros and cons, there's no denying it. It's the QNAP. 10 GBE card. It's the third best card of the year and it's the QXG 10G1T. It's a 10 GBE upgrade card as all of these are and this one retails for as little as £95 if you shop around without the VAT. And also this arrives with all the accessories you are going to need. I haven't seen any card arrive in this form for this price. It arrives with um, an, a Cat 6A cable, multiple, not just two, but three different kinds of backplane adapter there, you've got an instruction manual, you've got loads more information about the device in your warranty, and moreover, it is compatible with both MAS, NAS, I should say, and Windows systems. And the QNAP card is definitely the best card of the three in terms of um, price, what you're getting for your money. We're not just gonna look at price, but it has to be said, if money is the biggest concern to you, the QNAP card, that QXG, is definitely gonna be the one for you. Um, again, what lets it down? One, it's only got a one year warranty, which is really disappointing. I know QNAP aren't exactly famed for their warranties with most of their devices arriving with two years of warranty, but a, qual um, a controller card, I'm sure, can extend beyond that. And given that all three of these cards have got the same controller chip and the same port interface, I'm very surprised that the QNAP card only has one year of warranty. Next, the device itself, um, what is it? Sorry, a script that disappeared there. The device itself has got a very small heat sink. Of all three cards that we're talking about today, this one has the smallest heat sink of the three. And once again, it's not the end of the world. It's still a good heat sink. It's a good standard heat sink I'd expect for any chip as an alternative to an active fan that causes noise. 
and lots of space and power consumption, but still nevertheless, the smallest heatsink of the three and the shortest warranty may put some people off, and it's certainly why I put the QNAP 10GB upgrade card in third place. In second place, the Synology card. Um, the most recent release of the three, it's the E10G18. It's a one port PCIe upgrade card, just like all the others, and it arrives with five years of warranty, and that's pretty much the main thing that got it to second place. It is a good card, it costs more than the QNAP, it has less accessories than the QNAP, it doesn't arrive with, a, only arrives with one other backplane, no instruction manual, no warranty information, no cable, and it arrives at around £125, so it's noticeably more expensive than the QNAP, but five years of manufacturer's warranty is not to be sniffed at. That is a huge commitment from a brand there, and again, that warranty is replacement or repair as and when you need it. On top of that, the device arrives with a much better heatsink. The heatsink on the um, Synology card is the best of the three. It's both larger than all the others, it's Synology brand, it's much more dense material, and moreover, it's angular. It's got this fan out design to help dissipate the heat in, uh, upwards and sideways as well, which is a significant design improvement over that of that QNAP one. And that's really the two things that got that card, the Synology E10G18, to second place. That heatsink and that five year warranty. But there's still no denying a number of you are gonna be put off by that 125 pound price tag. The fact that you know it doesn't have a lot of accessories and moreover, it is only compatible with Synology NAS. Remember that, that card only works in Synology NASes. You can't put it in a Windows PC, you can't put it in a Linux server, you can only use it in Synology NAS, which again will bum a lot of you out who need to upgrade the ports, the PCI and whatever on your host machine. Still nevertheless, I do give it a solid second place there. In first place, and the card that left the biggest impact on me of all the new 10 GBE cards it released in 2018, it's the Buffalo. Um, now the only thing that lets the Buffalo card down for me is the name. Um, it is the LGY PCIe MGWR. It's awful, it's a horrible name. Not that you should care, but there's still no denying it. That does not roll off my tongue. But in every other reg every regard, this is a good card. It's got a three year warranty. So it hasn't got one, it hasn't got five, but a lovely split down the middle, three years of coverage. It's got a bigger heat sink than that of the QNAP, not quite as big or well designed as the Synology, but still a bigger heat sink, a rectangular design as well. It arrives at about 115 pounds if you shop around, or as high as 120 odd in some places, once again, without the tax. So it does cost more than the QNAP, but it does cost less than the Synology. Uh, the heat sink in, uh, itself, although it's rectangular and not angled, dissipates heat very well. And remember, all three of these cards have got that same Quantia controller. On top of that, it supports Windows and NAS servers, Linux and more, which means this card works in a Synology NAS, a QNAP NAS, and a Windows PC. So again, blanket coverage across the board. I should also mention that QNAP card mentioned earlier no longer functions in Synology NAS. I don't know if that's something they've blocked on purpose. Who knows? Lastly, the retail kit for this card arrives with the card itself, an additional backplane, warranty uh, information on the card there, and the manual. No cable, but still, I think the Buffalo gives you a card that lives between the QNAP and the Synology in terms of price, what you get for your money, and your coverage. And ultimately, that's why that Buffalo card with the horrendous name, the LGY PCIe MGWR, is my favourite 10GBE card of 2000. 18. Now again, all the links of the product we talked about and the article, the listing them, are in the description. I do invite you to check them out. And remember, if you need to upgrade the rest of your network, do take advantage of the free advice section at NAS Compares in the link in the description. We can help you out. And again, we're not exactly going to do after kind of as a heart, but it's not going to cost you money. So do check out the free advice section there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this or chuck me a like to keep me going. Or subscribe to NAS Compares to stay abreast of all the new releases in NAS by your NAS from Spain, your advice from NAS Compares, and this channel for your information. I'll see you later.